Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. And welcome to all the new subscribers that have come along. Um, unfortunately this week I don't have any train related stuff to, uh, to show you. I've been a little um, sidetracked by one of my Christmas gifts that I got from my wife this year. And what it is she's got me that's got me sidetracked and, and you know, it's something I've wanted for a while and it's this. This is an Iwata airbrush. Um, I've had an old one for a long time that I've been using and it, it works okay but she got me this for Christmas and it is like the best thing I've ever had as far as airbrushes go and I've been really enjoying it and when I painted that train I used this for it and it just got me to thinking you know, let me. I wanted to test out to see how good it really is, and this is what I've been doing for the past week. So I'm a little behind on videos. I just thought I'd show you what I've been doing. So I started with this phone case. Um, I thought it'd be kind of neat to see if I could do the, the 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 water look, wet look on this phone case, and I, and I think it came out pretty good. This is all done with that airbrush. Um, it's an old case my wife had from her old phone and I thought I would uh, just practice on it a little bit and this came out fairly decent I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna give it to my nephew to uh, for him to have for his phone um, this is uh, house of color paints I used on this um, and, and they worked really well through that airbrush as well as their their clear coat and the whole thing so after I got done with that, I got really excited and, and it went really well. So the next thing I painted was this. Because I wanted to see on something a little bit bigger how well that would come out. And this was the next project. Now this is again House of Color Paints. I got uh, pearl white stripes on candy blue, candy electric blue. Uh, House of Color paints and I think it came out pretty good uh, very happy with it and the uh, clear coat from them came out really well as well and that's all shot through that airbrush so after that I went one step further and I painted this I don't know how well that comes out. I'm going to bring it back in the light here. Yeah. So the next thing I painted was this. And these are not House of Color paints. They're just regular Createx uh, airbrush paints. And they're very old paints, so, so they had to be thinned down quite a bit. But I, I think it came out pretty good. Other than the clear coat finish, which you can see is kind of bumpy, but that's from a spray can. And I did it in the garage because I couldn't spray that in the house. And it was too cold, and that's what happened. But anyway, this is this is the final project that I, that I did with the airbrush. So these are all the reasons why I don't have a video for this week. I do apologize, but... This is something I've been wanting to do since Christmas. I wanted to mess around with it and see what what could be done with it. And now I know. And I'm very happy with the results. So anyway, all that being said, I just thought I'd give you a little update as to what's been going on this past week. I've been basically up to my elbows in paint. And uh, I, I think we're over it now, and I think it's time to get back started on to the layout. And uh, next week we're going to start, next video is going to start with the train yard again. Full out, we're going hard in there again. And we're going to start doing the concrete pad uh, around the round uh, roundhouse and turntable. So that that's what's next up on the menu for, for, for us over here. Um, so, quick video this week quick update uh, we're gonna call this video done for today and this week I wish it could have been more but this is what I have and this is what I've been doing that's gonna be it for this week um, if you're just finding my video for the first time please check them all out subscribe to my channel love to have you along for the ride always like having new people following along um, 
If you haven't as yet seen the completed uh, photos of the uh, N-Scale locomotive that I repainted, they are on my website. They can be found at mikestrains.wordpress.com and you can subscribe over there as well uh, you'll get email updates like these photos you would have got an email saying that I, I posted the photos on the website um, if you haven't subscribed already if you have glad to have you and, and you know stick with it and, and hang out with me um, so until next time happy modeling